Are you watching my channel yet? Hey guys, Holly here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I was waiting for that. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, today's video, we are going to be making some Halloween charcuterie boards. Coochie. <sighs> charcuterie boards. And I have a couple of little like kind of coffin-esque cheese boards here. So we went to the store and got a bunch of ingredients and we are just going to do our best to make it nice and Halloween-y themed. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So I whipped out a couple of my cheese boards like I showed you guys and then I totally forgot that I had this little brie cheese, um, you know, little baker Dutch oven thing. Um, so I pulled this out. It's black and has a little skull on top. I got it at Home Goods for $12.99. And I was confused because I thought there was like more instructions on the package. So I was looking at the package trying to find trying to find instructions, but those don't exist. So I decided to just go ahead and pop it in the oven. And it kind of took me a second, I feel like, to get oriented with what I wanted to do. So the first thing that I tried and miserably failed at was making these like skull prosciutto skulls skull prosciutto skulls um prosciutto skulls <laughs> i have seen someone do this i think it was on pinterest um yeah it didn't work at all so i'm not sure what she did that was different if she just like stuffed it more fully because i didn't have a ton of prosciutto but like I could not get a skull face to happen. I've also seen people do it where they take like an actual like bigger plastic skull and they wrap it in prosciutto. That one gives me the heebie-jeebies. That one is so scary. So definitely really perfect for Halloween. Um, but it's like almost unappetizing how like gross that one looks. <laughs> so anyways, then I had some sweet peppers and I wanted to pull out just the orange ones. So I opened up a bag and tossed them into a Tupperware just so I could pull out the orange ones. And then I went over and grabbed a little cauldron. I have this little three rack of cauldrons that I picked up. I want to say Michael's was where I got. Yeah, Michael's is definitely where I got it. So I grabbed a couple of those little cauldrons and I put the peppers in here and slid them over to the top of the board. The, the like part of the problem I had is that I feel like these boards are quite small and to really make like a super wow worthy charcuterie board, I feel like you need kind of like a big board if that makes sense. Um, so I feel like I was just having trouble figuring out where to put stuff and what I wanted to do. So I also grabbed some of the salami and then I went ahead and opened the hummus. Also, one of the problems that I had was that I need like some more little Halloween-y type containers because I feel like for dips and everything, you kind of need different spooky containers. Luckily, I did have this little black one that has skulls all over it. I got it at Joanne for like maybe five bucks. And so I scooped quite a bit of hummus into this so that we could dip. And this is like a jalapeno honey hummus and it is so good. It's definitely spicy. But, um, so, you know, fair warning and everything, because I don't typically like spicy, but I don't like spicy and even I enjoyed it. So I think you guys would, especially if you like spicy. Then I started taking the salami and just rolling it and kind of stacking it in between these two container pieces, the little cauldron and the skeleton guy. And I feel like 90% of making a charcuterie board is like just basically grouping things together and then kind of styling them in some sort of way shape or fashion if that makes sense so rolling these guys up and kind of sticking them in between these two to hold them up was perfect <laughs> Then I ended up doing the same thing with the prosciutto. I would just kind of ripped apart like smaller pieces that I could and did the same thing. I just kind of like rolled it up and then set it in front of the cauldron. After that, I went and grabbed some of this Vermont cheddar that I had and I decided I wanted to slice it kind of more interestingly. So I ended up um, just going ahead and, you know, slicing it into slices oh my gosh you guys i'm recording this in the morning can you tell um but then after that i cut it diagonally and then i also cut like the end off so that it would be kind of like little triangles which i thought was cute i guess i don't know i 
would have loved to do something a little bit more interesting somehow made it into like a pumpkin shape or something like that like that would have been fun but I was just trying to you know do something a little bit more interesting without taking five years to do it So I started sliding them over in front of the cauldron and I kind of stood them up so they would look kind of spiky. I thought that was just a nice way to display them. I don't know. I just thought maybe it was like a little bit more spooky, making them spiky. spiky? I don't know. So anyways, then I wanted to put some of these bagel chips out for everyone. I needed my friend JD to grab these little cauldrons um, because I could not reach them. <laughs> so... um I wanted to put those little bagel chips out um, and I was kind of looking through everything that I still had available to see what I wanted to do. So I needed to put some stuff in this other cauldron and it needed to be stuff that kind of needed more like containing and everything. So I started by putting these um, pumpkin spice covered pretzels in the bottom there, but I ended up moving them later because they didn't quite match the look I was going for. Then I took some of this Italian peppered salami and I just started folding it and kind of lining it up on the end of this charcuterie board. And then I wanted to make sure that I had enough room for the brie. So I went ahead and took that out and it was pretty warm by then. Um, it really makes a difference. I feel like when you cook it in a little you know, Dutch oven, that's like basically made for brie. And so then I decided to stack some of the bagel chips around it. And these were really yummy, but they did not pair well with brie because brie is already kind of a salty cheese. And the bagel chips were really salty. So the two of them together was just like a lot. Um, so I needed to kind of fill in some empty space. So I feel like berries is always a good choice for this. So I grabbed the blackberries and raspberries and kind of put them around the brie which I ended up changing later just because I felt like some stuff needed to go closer on there. We also had this little stick of goat cheese. So I just stuck the whole cheese on that. I was gonna try and kind of slice it in that roll, but it kept falling apart. So I decided to just leave it and you can just kind of like dip it as you needed with the little bagel chips. I'm dancing because I am nervous and don't know what I want to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, my cats are being crazy while I'm trying to do a voiceover or film a video. What's new? I had my friend cut up these little non like slice it like mini bread thingies <laughs> into triangles and I put some of those kind of around the black bean hummus that we had on the left charcuterie board and then I stacked some over on the right charcuterie board and I felt like that was good because we definitely used way more for the hummus than anything else. And I also stacked some carrot sticks but kind of pointed them up um, to make them also kind of look, you know, spicy and also kind of easy to grab I feel like if they're, you know, stood up it kind of makes it easier. So I ended up sticking another little cauldron with olives this time in the middle of that charcuterie board. And then I wanted to use these roasted red peppers. So we decided to move the orange sweet peppers over to the other charcuterie board and then put the roasted red peppers in that cauldron and add it to this, um, to the right-handed charcuterie board. I feel like charcuterie, again, it's kind of like for, I feel like one of the best ways to build a charcuterie board is to figure out what needs to go into containers first and then kind of lay out your containers and then pick the items that should go near those respective containers like dips and whatever, what, what you, the things you want to dip into different dips, <laughs> like the hummuses versus the brie versus whatever other dip you might have. Um, and displaying it around those items essentially and grouping it together nicely and styling it is really kind of the best way but I feel like it's it's fun but it also can be if you're a little bit of a perfectionist like me 
it can be almost a little stressful making a charcuterie board because you want it to be really nice and cute and appetizing um and sometimes it always doesn't work that way so we also had some um salmon some lox that we wanted to put on there and so i had ella kind of roll that up and kind of like we did the other meats for the board and put that on there because we wanted it to go with the goat cheese and the bagel chips so again that's why we kind of moved the berries over to the other charcuterie board and that actually worked out better i think because the berries could be contained since that charcuterie board had sides look at the charcuterie board i made wow <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel thanks for coming um <laughs> i hope you like halloween because that's all we do here <laughs> literally okay So yeah, this is how they turned out. Peppers and blackberries and raspberries and olives, pita, carrots, and black bean hummus. This one was a really good one. It was so yummy. That black bean hummus was seriously so delicious. We ate almost all of that one. We also had some peppered salami and lox. We had our little brie cheese bagel chips goat cheese salami some more non bread some cheese and some prosciutto some hummus and then some roasted red peppers so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and hit that big red subscribe button down below to come hang out with me on the channel every single day until halloween i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow bye